Okay, Mark Griffith here again, and we are playing Kerbal Space Program. I'm on my third video in career mode, and I'm just going to keep making these videos as I play career mode. The career mode is awesome. It's the best way to play it. Well, it suits everyone's style, but it's a nice way to play it for the first time. You learn a lot about the game as you go along. Now, where we left off last time, I'd actually made it to the moon, but I totally buggered up my landing. Well, yeah, I buggered up the landing. It wasn't um, Jebediah flying, and we blew up our rocket engine, so we landed safely, but we've got no more rocket engine, so he's sitting up there on the moon, and we've got to launch a rescue mission for him. Now, the main difference is... The main problem we're going to have is, um, well, first thing, we want to upgrade our um, recruiting center. We, we don't need any new crew at the moment. But we're going to have to upgrade this so we can actually get Kerbals out of aircraft and performing EVA. So we'll upgrade that. And uh, let's just go to our mission control and see if we've got any relevant missions that'll help us along. Rendezvous to vessels in orbit of Kerbin. All right, here's my problem. I need to build a bigger rocket, a more efficient rocket. I think I need more science so I can get those radial decouplers. Now, if I do one of these rendezvous missions, I'll get that extra science if I do that. So let's accept that contract. Before we go charging off to the moon, we'll accept that contract first. Um, what other things can we do here? Test the spark? No, I don't want that. Rescue Rod Pond Kerman from orbit of Kerbin. All right, that'll should uh, achieve our other mission as well, so we can achieve um, two missions at the same time. That'll give us a bit of extra cash too. So I'll accept that contract, and let's go and build a rocket that can carry two people. I'll decline that one. Yeah, that radial decoupler is not coming up here again. It'd be nice. Plant a flag on the moon. Oh, I can do that. Trivial. Right, let's accept that anyway. Let's plant that flag first. Let's go and visit. So there, there's our pod, Rod's pod, and oh, he's in a bit of an awkward orbit. He's not even in low Earth orbit. That's quite high. Huh. Anyway, so let's go and check out Jeb. Oh, that'll be good practice. We've got to get to the moon anyway in this rocket, so not a bad rescue mission at all. Now that Jeb was um, back on Earth and he did his uh, training, he can do an EVA report. He was always ready. He just needed an excuse. So, jump for it. Oh, yeah, he's fallen over. I think he's been into the vodka stash in there. And we'll plant a flag. That should. Complete our Yeah, really original. It should complete our contract. Plant a flag on the moon. Yes. Give me the cash. Show me the money. Right. And uh, I'll do an EVA report while we're here. Whole lot of science. Um no way to transmit it until we get back. Oh, the wonders of jetpacking. I'll let everyone discover that for themselves. Bloody sticky keys. I hate sticky keys. Really hate sticky keys. Ease of access center. Make your computer e Ah. God damn it, I hate windows.
also kind of hate Apple too, they're getting a bit expensive and crap these days. Alright, let's go back to the Space Centre. God forbid I might have to switch to Linux. What well, is the world coming to? Oh, we've got a whole lot of cash now. No, I don't want to upgrade that, but I do want to go. Uh, now I can, I've got enough cash to upgrade my um, launch pad. And I've got enough cash to upgrade my vehicle assembly building. So that will give me more parts, so up to 255 parts. And if I upgrade there, it's okay. I can have an unlimited size rocket. Um, I don't know if we're anywhere near 140 tons yet. But uh, we might upgrade our vehicle assembly building. Let's just build our rocket first and see if we need to do that. So, shall we modify Moon 1? Shall we modify Moon 1 or shall we start from scratch? What do you think? I kind of like to start from scratch. Let's start from scratch. So, this one's going to need two command pods. Um, probably a bit big. Start with the size command pod. Put a terrier on there. I think I am going to upgrade my um, facilities here, so this one's going to have lots and lots of parts. And why not? I've never done a design like this. Let's make it a side by side job the whole way through. Hmm. This may or may not work. I'm not sure yet. Do I even have any sort of landing legs? Got some structural stuff. So you probably, let's go to this point. I don't know if it's going to be joined properly. I don't have struts to join these together, so I'm, I'm hoping they're going to, they're probably not joined together somehow. I just need that extra bit of equipment. Can I? No. I've got 4,600 Delta V. 4,900. Should I squeeze a bit more fuel on this? See what happens. 5,200. That is substantial. That's a substantial amount of Delta V. Quite a handsome looking rocket too, if I say so myself. Right, we'll stick some boosters on it. We're going to go for a similar design to the last one. Not entirely different, but I do have a feeling it's going to be a bit wobbly. 5,800, 5,200, so sticking them on brings us up to 5,800, and then if I stick a few more on, like so. 6,500. It's becoming quite a powerful little rocket. Um, I can't do that because it, the mirror image puts it in the wrong spot. So I'll just put one like that. And one on the other side. Hmm. This is uh, becoming rather powerful. Lots and lots of basic fins. Is all my staging right? Yes, it is. Uh, I'm not sure where that mirror image ended up. I think that just ended up on the other side of the. I love these descriptions. Um, simple bolt on aluminium fin. So I did remember it's changed a bit. You see some like found in a dumpster. Jeb's Rocket Parts Emporium. Are we 
we're getting correct mirror images over here well uh, not really it's looking a bit ugly over there yep I don't believe we got away with that and we're gonna need a turn off mirroring here because it's just gonna mirror on the wrong side uh, there we go if I hold down alt it'll copy parts so I don't have to keep going back and getting them the keyboard shortcuts are your friend if you take the time to learn the keyboard shortcuts uh, when you're building stuff um, it can help you speed things up and you'll probably learn a few things too as usual read the manual you always learn something all right so I've got a fair amount of stability there I really don't know how well this thing's going to hold together. I've got a feeling it's going to wobble all over the place. Now, as far as crew goes, we only want one crewman or crew woman. We'll go with Valentina for this mission. And um, all the staging is correct. We want to fire all those boosters at once. It's going to go super fast. I haven't reduced the power of these boosters. We can bring. Let's just give it a go flat out, see what happens. Alright, can't support over 30 parts. But let's save this first as Moon Rescue. Yeah, real original. You know, with all that extra Delta V, can I put any science on board? Can I at least put some goo on there? I think it'd be nice to have a little bit of a little bit of goo on board. Would be polite, wouldn't it? Go all that way and we don't take any goo with us. And I'm not gonna make this mistake twice. Let's stick antennas on these things too. That way, at least if we do crash this thing. We can send back a bit of science at least, and that's not a complete loss. So we're going to upgrade our vehicle assembly building. Oh god, I don't, I don't hope we've got enough cash to launch this baby. 123,000. Oh, we do. That's actually quite a cheap rocket. Sorted. Let's launch this puppy. Uh, it's not very stable on the launch pad. Swinging around a bit. Let's go with that. It's already tilted over. Oh no! How did you sneak on? Bill, you're out of there. Uh, is he going to survive? I forget how to make them land on their head. I knew there was a way. I might have killed him. I don't know. This rocket certainly is fast. Yeah, well, they just left that coast for a bit. Um. Debris, 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 debris. Hmm. Let's um revert back to the vehicle assembly. I didn't really want to kill old Bob there. But how he snuck in. Ah had it the wrong way around. Right, there we go. Just Valentina on there now. And what I might do as well, because um, I don't really want to launch in the dark. It doesn't really look that pretty. We'll just um, time warp for a bit. It's a new day at the Kerbal Space Center. There we go. 
So, Valentina, your mission is to rescue Rod Pond. What a stupid name, we're going to just call him Rod. Is to rescue Rod. And what direction is his orbit in? Okay, it's um, that way. Now, I presume... I guess that's a standard way that we'll launch. Let's hope it is. We're going to do our launch as usual. We're already tilted over. Look at that lean. It's like it was made for it. And Valentina's Valentina is off on a rescue mission. Now I'm hoping we will achieve this rendezvous um, goal as well. Even though that other vehicle wasn't really ours. I wonder if I can test the swivel at the same time. So that means I'll have to fire this swivel engine between 7,000 and 7,500 metres. Means I've got to run on these boosters all the way and achieve that apoapsis, but I don't think that's going to happen somehow. Let's do a bit of science. Uh, not really worth anything. Not really quite going to make it. I should have judged this that a little bit earlier. I could coast a bit further. There's no point trying to push all that atmosphere out of the way. We're almost out there already. Yes, we're going in the right direction. I can even set him as a target if I want. Uh, this spacecraft held together quite well. Uh, like, really, we should have given it a few more strengthening struts down the bottom, but it seems to be holding quite well. The only bit that's really connected is um, up the top here. Everything else is somewhat free-floating. Just got to boot it a bit, get that apoapsis up. This thing will probably make it to the moon just as is. Valentina's quite happy there, smiling away. Looking pretty good for a green bug-eyed alien. I'm going to do it a bit different this time. So I've now gone past the apoapsis. I'm just going to raise that up a bit. Okay, now the apoapsis is ahead of me. in orbit with almost 3,000 meters per second delta V spare fantastic now the art of a render rendezvous rendezvous ah I think it's one of those stupid French words now if we do a maneuver at the ascending node and bring that right up I'm thinking should well no it hasn't really brought us that close to it let's bring that around to the descending uh, it's just a matter of wiggling stuff around i'm not going to get it right bang on this first time a thousand kilometers Ah, see, we had a bit of a tilt there. I don't know if we can correct that. Which one is it? I think it's... Our orbits are not quite... So our orbits are not in line with each other. Makes it rather difficult. Not sure we'll manage.
Let's go with that. So what I'll do, we're going to do a burn here and that'll get us out to there and then we'll do another burn later on here to bring this down and get us closer. I think that's the way to do it. Well, we'll start with this anyway. That'll do pig. So let's plan our next manoeuvre. I'm going to do it at the ascending node. And what I want to do is... The idea is, is to bring these two things as close as possible. Oh, from one perspective they look like they're close. Aren't they? They're actually not. Let's just concentrate on getting the orbit in there nice and flat. So get a cell coming up and we're just touching them there. We want to make our periapsis doesn't go too low. We don't end up back in the atmosphere. I kind of want to cheat and get this as close as possible straight away. So that'll bring us slightly behind it. And then we can, uh, and right in line there. And then we can do another burn here to catch up. So let's warp to that maneuver. I don't want to quite, I want to orientate myself first. Watch my electric charge there. Don't leave that stability control on for any reason. A little cheater's tip to stop that moving. You just blip the time warp and it'll stop it right there. It is actually the first time I've done a, a um, rescue mission like this. Like normally they're always in low earth orbit and that's quite... you just zip up and zip back down but this one involves quite a bit of delta V. Actually probably more than getting to the moon and back. Just do that last bit ever so slowly. Right, now, our next burn I want to do about here, and I want to obviously speed it up, and do a bit of these ones to make it a bit more circular, there we go, let's reduce that a bit. Right, let's go with that burn. We'll line her up. 320 meters per second, that's quite a lot. We're using up quite a bit of fuel here. There are probably more efficient ways to do this, but I, I want to kind of get there as quick as I can. So Jeb's not getting too hungry on the moon there. And let's burn. I want to make this very precise, see if I can get it spot on. That'll do. See how we did. 20 kilometers. All right, not too bad. So when we come or swing around here, we'll be within 20 kilometers of him. I think if I do another little burn over here. About there. Can refine that a little bit. Not made it worse. We're only 20 k's away from our target. Alright, so what I'm going to do now is if we click here, <laughs> I played for so long before I learnt this, you can click here and change your uh, your uh, all your points as to what you're moving relative to. So our target is Rod and what I'd like to do is go towards him. So first first thing I'll do is kill all the velocity that's difference between us. So let's reduce our speed there to 
a re relative speed to zero. Close enough. And then we'll just go towards him. If I can find where the target is. Okay, so that pink one is directly away from the target. We want to point towards the target. Swinging around, swinging around. I'm going to run out of electric charge at this rate. So now we're heading directly towards our target. And we can see our intersection point has changed here. So by the time we get around to here, we'll be within 3.8 kilometers. Now I'm going to bring that closer. 2.1, 1.9, 1.8. One point five, one point four, one point one. Beautiful. Let's spin it around. So now when I get to this point, I want to kill this relative velocity and that'll bring us nice and close. I really need enough science to get solar panels happening. It'll make this so much easier. There we go, kill that, and now we wait until we get to this point. That's about 48 minutes. We're at our closest point now, so we'll kill that velocity. And repeat, we'll swing it around so we're looking, see if I can't swing it the right way. Actually burning up electric charge moving around all this extra extra mass so I might I might ditch this stage even though there's a bit of fuel left in it. Oh we've achieved rendezvous. Fantastic. Not even that close. We can get closer than that. So now we're headed towards him. Give it a little thrust. There we go. Now we're going directly towards. Oh I should have left that spinning. Now if we time this, by the time I've spun around the other way, we'll be much, much closer. And we do an EVA while we're at it. And do a crew report. Oh, that's some nice data. It's very round. Well, it's not flat, is it? Oh, it's 50 metres away, I kill. still can't even see the thing. Oh, there we go. It's just a boring old stock standard pod. Right, that'll do, I think. I think we're close enough. Rightio, Rod. Time for you to get out of your little dead spacecraft. Hit R. Now, it takes quite a bit of practice to master this, um... old uh, old jetpack old oh, George Clooney was bloody good at it now which one of these is empty nope not that one this one yes hello Valentina hello Rod how are you Thank you for rescuing me. Shall we go home now? Yes, let's go home. Oh, I kind of forgot which one was a female voice, which is a male there. Rightio. So, our next mission is to go home. Let's uh, dump this booster. And we'll now go home in our super little maneuverable jet little uh, spacecraft foot to orbit and it should just be a simple matter we're not in an entirely circular orbit but I do think we've got plenty of Delta V to just start heading back right away so oh, we better fire up those engines activate them first without firing the parachutes 
That would be somewhat of a disaster, wouldn't it? Yes, our motors are active now. Now I might just save it at this point. Just in case I screw up this uh, burn and go a bit too get a bit too carried away. Now there's certain distances that you can uh, if you're coming in high and fast like this you don't want to come in too steep because you'll just burn up and collide with the planet. But if we come in and I think it's something like 35 kilometers 42 it's always a good number. I'll make sure we're facing the right way. Now that one's got not very valuable data and this one has got uh, not very valuable data either. We do have a EVA report. I wonder if I've got time just to zip out and quickly get an EVA report. Yeah, okay, I'll get back on board. Hmm, that was one from the upper atmosphere. Nice, nice work, Rod. So we're coming in at well, 3,000 meters per second here, but I can still kill a hell of a lot of my uh, Delta V here. assist and I'm going to leave a little bit of fuel on board just in case we need it that'll do oh we've got a definite capture now looks like we're going to be landing on the on the ground now uh Will these parachutes be enough to um, stop us? I wonder. Actually, what I might do before we crash completely, let's um, review the report and we can actually transmit this back because we have antennas. Make sure we don't use up all our electric charge doing that. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, let's just leave it at that. I don't want to use up all my electric charge, because if I use up all my electric charge, then I won't be able to fire my parachutes. You really need batteries. Or a little solar panel or something like that. I've got mono propellant on board here, which is a bit of a waste of mass as well. I must remember to get rid of that. Well, we're actually steering. We're spinning around. Oh, somewhat out of control now. That'll slow it down. Hmm, what's that down there? What is that? I've never seen that thing before. What is that down there on the ground? Can I swing this around? I don't want to use up all my electric charge. What is that? Let's hope she slows down enough. I didn't launch her parachute, it's something like 250. a bit scary. Well, it looks like we're safe. So I can get a bit more um, better science. Uh, nope. 
not a chance. Perfect. Didn't even fall over. Right, so we'll recover that and uh, see what we achieved. Alrighty, so we've gained a whole load of science, 48 science there, which is uh, pretty good, pretty happy with that. Um, some funds, some extra funds, Valentina Kerman has got 2 XP gained and so has Rod there, so that's cool, and we've got another crew member as well, so... Um, what is Rod? He's a scientist. Nice. 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 Okay. And now I think we've certainly got enough cash. We can um, probably next video I'll be attempting to rescue our man on the moon. Jebediah Kerman. Anyway, cheers. I will catch you next time.